Amisom troops under fire. Al-Shabaab insurgents in an unexpected attack of an Amisom convoy, perhaps in retaliation for the capture of one of their bases, Korole Town. One of the armored vehicles was damaged, but there were no immediate reports of death or injuries. The soldiers all slept, they fought back their way, and here we are, towing back to the base. It is something we shall keep expecting, but we are really prepared for it. The Somali National Army, assisted by Amisom troops, captured Korole on Saturday in an attack that caught the militants by surprise. A number of Al-Shabaab insurgents were killed during the operation. According to Somali media, the town had been under the rule of Al-Shabaab for five years. Its capture is seen as critical for future Amisom operations to liberate the port city of Barawa. Amisom definitely is going to look at covering and capturing all these other areas remaining up to Barawe. We are going to take all these areas sequentially until we take them all. It's just a simple message to Al-Shabaab. You either give him or we are coming for you. We call on the Somali youth trapped in Al-Shabaab to go back to their communities and take the amnesty offered by the Somali president and the people. The Al-Qaeda-linked militia was driven out of bases in Mogadishu more than two years ago, but it has continued to control large areas of the countryside and smaller towns. Eight key towns have been liberated so far. Carol Oyola, CCTV.